Hey, I'm excited to have you back. Today we're gonna create this pixel bat in Procreate. How cute does this bat look? Let's begin. First, you definitely need pixel brushes. You can, the link is in the description for free pixel brushes from Bardo Brush. Step number two, you need a canvas that's 30 by 30. So if you already have a save, just tap on that. If not, create a new canvas right here. 30 pixels by 30 pixels. Once your canvas is open, tap on the wrench icon, turn on drawing guide, edit drawing guide, and make sure your grid size is one or zero. And you can also change the color of your grid. The opacity and thickness is just your preference. It doesn't matter what size it is. Once you've got all that done, tap the done button and find your pixel brushes. We're gonna start off by using the pixel painter. Our bat will be black. So double tap in this area to get a black color. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin with the head, how about that? So somewhere about here, like a rectangle, minus three boxes by four boxes. Yours could be a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller. There you go. Now it's four boxes by five boxes. Next, so we're gonna add the eyes and nose after. Next, let's draw the ears. So starting on the corner here, go up a bit, and then you wanna bring it around and over. So you got one ear, same idea on the other side, up. Make sure it's the same height and the same width. So I think that's one, two, three, four, four boxes, and bring it down. And I think I gotta add a box there and a box here. There you go. My ears look equal. Now, so this is our head, our ears. We need like the neck and the wings. I'm just gonna draw a line like so. Actually, undo. Bring the line below. And I drew too much, so I'm gonna erase, erase, erase. Make sure you're erasing with the same brush that you're drawing with. So a pixel painter, we erase with the pixel painter, we draw with the pixel painter. And now we need these wings to go up a bit, like a triangle almost, and come down. And this will be like the edge of the, the wing. Same idea here, like so like a triangle and bring that down. So that will be the top part. And here's the edge of the wing. So now we bring, we do another triangle. Bring it up, bring it down, bring it up again, and then the feet. So bring it down a little bit lower. Okay, so uh, this one of the legs. We'll clean it up in a second. And do the same thing on this side. Bring it up, bring it down, bring it up, bring it down. And those are the legs. So one leg, two legs, this is the body. So let's color in the body. With pixel art, you first wanna get the shape of what you're drawing, and then you add details. So let's make sure they're all at the same bottom length. And it looks like here I need to erase a little bit. So I'm gonna grab the eraser button uh, tool and just tap once to erase. Maybe I need to color in here to make that more equal. Erase that. Okay, so it's a little bit off. Here I have one pixel, here's two pixels. That's okay as long as it looks kind of similar. And it looks like this one's a little too high. You can bring it down like that. Okay. So I have my bat. Maybe. There you go, fix that a little bit. That's better. So now that I have the outline of my bat, I'm gonna add a new layer. And this is where we're gonna add the eyes and the face. Because the bat is pure black right now, 
If I add black eyes, you won't see them. So actually, before adding a new layer first, on this bat layer, tap alpha lock, grab the Digi, Digi pixel shader, and I will grab gray. And I will color in this bat gray. Um, focus more on the face area and like so. So now when I add two black eyes, you can see them. If the bat is too gray, you want it darker, just deepen the color, do the same thing again. You can even grab black and just tap in certain spaces to add the darkness back. But avoid the face so we can add those eyes. <clears throat> now, second layer, double tap to get two eyes. We have two eyes. Actually, we can you can choose whatever color eyes you'd like. And I'm going to grab orange for the nose. It's almost like a smile. But you know, smile or nose. <laughs> and the ears. These would be my ears. There you go. I like that. There we go. Oh, I think I need to add another pixel right here. There we go. That's better. Nice. Okay. I have my bat. Got my eyes. You can make the eyes blue too. If you prefer. Then they stick out more instead of the black. So we have the outline, we got the ears, the nose, or the mouth, the two eyes. Create a new layer, bring it to the very bottom below the bat layer, choose the di digi pixel shader, and choose whatever color you want blue, purple, pinks, and fill the whole background. So I chose purple. And choose a few different colors of that purple just to give it more fun color variations of the pixels and there you go we have our bat how awesome is that once you are done we're almost done once you are done drawing it turn off your drawing guide through the wrench icon our canvas is 30 by 30 that is three millimeters wide in reality. Let me show you. Here's a piece of paper, eight and a half by 11. 30 pixels by 30 pixels is down here. It is beyond tiny. 100 pixels by 100 pixels, also very small. We need it to be a thousand pixels or 2,500 pixels. So it's nice and big if you wanna save it, send it, print it. Maybe you have a digital frame where you put all your artwork, like a slideshow. So let's do that. Wrench icon, crop and resize. Settings, tap here, 2,550 by 2,550. Once you've done that, make sure these are gray, not blue. Tap done, tap done. <laughs> our new canvas size, our tiny, tiny bat. Tap on the layers icon, select all three layers by swiping to the right transform tool snapping is on uniform make sure nearest neighbor is selected two fingers to move your canvas around because sometimes you know the menus in the way move your canvas around grab a node and fill out that page it looks blurry don't worry tap the transform tool we are complete we have a non blurry crisp bat that you can save or send to a friend Actually, definitely send it to a friend because that's always fun. Wrench icon, share, PNG, and you can send it away. Make sure to like and subscribe to the next video, to my videos, so we can have more fun together creating digital art and some fun, simple drawings too. Let me know in the comments below what other pixel art you would like to create, maybe from Minecraft, maybe from another video game, and I'll help you achieve that. Keep creating. I can't wait for the next video.
Talk to you soon.